Scrooge McDuck is famously recognized as the richest duck in the world. Although estimates of the sum of Scrooge's wealth has been disputed, the most generous estimate in the life and times of Scrooge McDuck puts his earnings at 5 multiplagillion, 9 impospadillion, 7 fantastic trillion dollars and 16 cents. With this type of money, he has become the richest and most influential member of the Billionaires Club of Duckburg and has allowed him to fill a vault with gold coins for him to dive into like a porpoise. But how did this old duck earn his lavish fortune? Hello, I'm Isaac from Wanso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to divulge how Scrooge McDuck got filthy rich. McDuck was born and grew up in Glasgow, Scotland, as the son to a family of poor farmers. In an attempt to earn money on his own, Scrooge began his journey to his fortune by becoming a shoe shiner, where he earned his first dime. On his first day of work, the famous wealthy American Howard Rocker Duck passed through Scrooge's tiny town and threw some pocket change to some playing children. One of the children who received a dime was Scrooge's younger sister, Matilda. The tiny duck gave the dime to her father, Fergus McDuck, and he determined he should invest the money back into his son. In an attempt to set his son up with the mindset of business, he gifted the dime to his ditch digger friend, Bert, to have his son shine his shoes. Scrooge worked diligently on the boots and was disappointed when his hard work resulted in a measly American dime. Scrooge swore to himself to be smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies and make his money square, so he would never have to work for practically nothing again. Scrooge would never be cheated again and would rise above everyone else. He was hungry for more riches and wanted his work to result in income that was meaningful. Scrooge kept this coin, which he refers to as his old number one, as a reminder of the pledge he made to himself that day. Through the years, that dime became his lucky charm and most prized possession, and has been considered to be the source of his immense fortune. However, Scrooge has privately confided to Donald and his nephews that the dime's great luck may only be superstition. Now that Scrooge has his good luck charm and the drive to earn more money than he could possibly imagine, what did he do to earn his money? His old number one inspired him to set forth to seek his fortune in America. He got started mining gold in the Klondike where he earned his first gold piece and began to propel himself to more money than his family had ever seen. There was no one job or niche which secured him as the rich duck we know him today. Instead, he used his mining money to diversify his time and money into everything he could. Normally, Scrooge kept his money under his mattress, but once he joined the diamond market, he was unable to sleep because his riches raised his bed too close to the ceiling. That's when he decided to build his famous money bin a three cubic acre building and safe overlooking Duckburg where Scrooge stores some of his money. He built factories, ventured to exotic locations across the world for treasure, and built a business empire. Scrooge McDuck embodies the American dream. He began with nothing, came to America, worked harder than everyone else, and earned the lavish lifestyle he yearned for. He is brilliant and perseveres through every turn, but his earnings weren't what really made him happy. Scrooge became very cold and nearly unforgiving, was obsessively protective of his fortune, and practically lived in isolation in his mansion, which made him bitter. Luckily, as he continued to interact with his nephews Donald, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, they began to change him into a more compassionate and selfless duck. He learned money isn't the only way to be happy. If you'd like to continue to learn about Scrooge McDuck, then I'll leave the links to some of his comics, appearances, and the resources I used in the description of this video. So now it's time for your thoughts. Do you like Scrooge McDuck? Did you know how he made all of his money? And if you could buy anything in the world, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, then remember to subscribe to watch so videos and click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.